What's going on everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. And for today I want to talk about my guy Patrick Williams. Is Patrick Williams stuck in his head? Is he doubting himself? Is that the reason why he's not aggressive enough? Is he overthinking? I'm going to get into that, but before I do, I want you guys to subscribe to my page as I keep you guys updated with the Bulls content, the Bulls rumors, the Bulls news. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. So, after game one where the Bulls lost to the Pelicans, Patrick Williams finished off with five points. You know, he had a jumper and he had a uh, layup, which was actually called goaltending when Zion actually blocked his shot. But I know a lot of people were talking about Patrick Williams after the game. And they was just talking about offensively, you know, was he was he too tentative? And so Billy Donovan, he kind of iterated that after practice saying, yeah, I feel like sometimes Patrick Williams could be in his own head, you know, overthinking his steps. And sometimes that would cause you to, you know, hold to hold back from the plays you're trying to do instead of playing more freely and more loosely because you know things are a lot smoother and when you play off instincts you tend to play better and so I feel like that's where Patrick Williams is stuck at right now everybody including him knows he has all the talent in the world all the tools in the world but it's up to Patrick Williams to get over that mental hurdle especially playing with the likes of a DeMar DeRozan and a Zach Levine you know you have to be able to play off instincts you have to be able to attack just off your mindset and you know Patrick Williams he's never been that type of player growing up from high school to college you know he's always been that player that defensive first player that player who you know does the little things to win he's always been a supporting type of player and even though he's been the most talented he's never just been that 1A type of score and so being put in this position of where they want you to go out and score is something new for Patrick Williams and I feel like over the training camp and over time you know, over the preseason, he's going to learn how to be more and more aggressive. I expect Petra Williams to be more aggressive this upcoming game, you know, and he has some nice drives against the Pelicans. It's just when he gets to that point, and I actually got this idea from Big Dave from CHGO Sports, you know, when he gets to the paint, you know, the drive is aggressive. It's just the finish that's not aggressive. When you blow past that person, you have a wide open lane, you should go for a strong dunk instead of going for easy teardrop because especially with the tools that you have you know you're you're able to do that and so Patrick Williams he was interviewed at the practice also and he was quoting the same thing he's basically saying yeah I think I played good and bad while you know I held my own against Patrick Williams on the defensive end I feel like I could have been more aggressive and more physical with them from the start and I feel like I could have made a bigger stamp offensively you know on the fast breaks cutting the lanes and just driving and doing things like that and so Patrick Williams understands what he needs to do it's really just all about him overcoming that mental barrier and just doing it and once he finally break through and see he could do that on a consistent basis that's just going to be another avenue for our team you see players on the Bulls like Daylon Terry like Javante Green they're strictly energy and instincts you know they don't have all the same talent and the same physical tools that Patrick Williams does but they have that heart and that energy to where they're just going to go out and attack it and so I feel like if Patrick Williams can adopt that mantle of just going out and doing it and not overthinking it and just being aggressive regardless of what the results are I feel like over time it's going to is going to build into his system to where you know he could do it without even thinking about it he's just constantly aggressive and that's going to be the next hurdle for our team and so let me know what you guys think comment down below do you guys feel like patrick williams can overcome this mental barrier of not being able to be aggressive you know let me know what you guys think and definitely like this video and i'm gonna holler at you guys later i'm out